I want to take a few minutes and talk about something that I call fuzzy match VLOOKUPs. And specifically, I'm going to describe how to find ranges of values as opposed to exact lookup values using these types of lookups. Now, fuzzy match, which is more formally known as approximate match, can be used to determine where a specific lookup value falls in a given set of ranges. So the idea here, the key point is that instead of trying to find the exact match for our lookup value, what we're doing in this case is searching for the closest match that's either equal to or less than the lookup value. And to make this happen, all we do is modify that last argument in the lookup function known as the range lookup by entering a value of true or the number one, which signifies fuzzy match or approximate match. Now, like most things in Excel, this is best illustrated with a real contextual example. So take a look at this data set here. We've got a bunch of products being sold in column B. We have a sales quantity or order volume in column C. We've got the retail price in D. The idea is we're trying to calculate the discount level in column E based on the sales quantity or order volume. And essentially the idea here is that larger volume orders will be given a larger discount. So for orders of zero to five, there will be no discount applied. Six to 10 would be a 5% discount, all the way up to orders of greater than 50 units, which would earn a discount of 20%. So to make this logic actually work, we're gonna use a VLOOKUP function, and we're gonna say, let's look up the value in column C, the quantity. We're gonna look it up in this order discount table, specifically columns H through I. We want the second column over, and here's the key. We're using the true range lookup type, which is approximate match. And when we enter that formula, what's happening now is that Excel is cycling down from the top of column H to the bottom. Again, not just looking for the exact match, in this case, 25, but the closest match that's either equal to 25 or less than 25. So in this case, it stops at 21. The column index tells us to move over to the next column in the table array. And then that 15% discount, that's the value that gets pulled up into our discount column E. So what we've essentially done is not match the quantity value exactly, but identify which range of values that quantity falls into in our table array or a lookup table. So really helpful tip to have in your back pocket. One thing to note that's pretty critical here to make this work properly, your groupings must be defined by the minimum value, which is the order minimum number that you see there in column H in the lookup table. And those order minimums, those minimum values have to be ordered ascending from small to large. Because remember how a VLOOKUP works, it's gonna start at the top, it's gonna go cell by cell until it finds that closest match. So order is critical here. Now this is a four star tip, it's relatively advanced. If you don't have a good handle on traditional VLOOKUP functions yet, uh, this may be a little bit confusing. I do cover VLOOKUPs as well as HLOOKUPs, index, match, offset, etc. in my formulas and functions course, where I'll cover more of the fundamentals in depth. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. Now, a couple of use cases here. We can define something like a variable commission rate based on an agent's sales volume, or we can do something like we're showing here calculating tiered discounts based on something like a purchase quantity. So let's jump into the pro tip workbook and practice writing one of these fuzzy match or approximate VLOOKUP functions. All right, so from our table of contents, we're in the formula tip section. Look for the fuzzy match lookups demo and go ahead and press link to get out to that green tab. And what we have here are basically order records with different order IDs on each line. And we're looking at which product was sold, the quantity sold, retail price, which we're not gonna use in this example. And the key is column E, that discount column that we need to populate using a VLOOKUP function that references this order and discount table here. Now, one thing to note, this column H is the one we really care about. And this is the one that's gonna serve as the input for the function. Note that it's defined based on the minimum value in each group or bucket, and it's sorted ascending. These labels here in column G, 
These aren't actually used in the function. I've just added them for a little bit of readability. So jumping into cell E2, let's think about how we might approach this problem, right? There are a few ways we could possibly tackle this. Um, you could use a bunch of nested if statements and say, you know, if the quantity is less than X and greater than Y, then discount equals 10%. That's totally fine. In this case, you'd be nesting, you know, five different conditions into the same formula. It's going to get a little bit long, a little bit messy, and you'd have to modify each of those conditions anytime you wanted to change things. So that's not really the most efficient option here. What if we used an exact match VLOOKUP, right? Kind of the standard approach. And we said, let's look up the quantity in C2. And let's try to find that quantity here in our table array, H2 through I6, press F4 to lock that in. And what we want is the discount, which lives in the second column of that table array. And then if we did our standard kind of false or zero to signify exact match and closed it off, we could press enter and start to kind of apply this down. And what you'll see is that some fields happen to populate properly, but those are only the ones that were exactly equal to the order minimums, 21 and 6, for instance. To change that logic from an exact match to a close match, an equal to or less than match, all we need to do now is change that zero to a one or a true, press enter, and now it has become an approximate or fuzzy match lookup that will apply properly as it's applied to all these rows. So let's double click to apply it all the way down. Looks like we've got about 100 order samples here. And that seems to be working just fine. We can spot check. A 5 would be 0, 25 would be 15%, an order quantity of 75 would be 20. Looks great. So there you have it. That's a great example of a real practical use case for approximate match or fuzzy match VLOOKUP functions.